this is the beginning of a dryad's saddle or pheasant back. Now this is when it's young and these are what I call past their best before date. As you can see, you can clearly detect a beautiful pattern here on these that lends its name to a saddle or a pheasant back. Now, let's see, somebody's already ripped a piece off here. So there's a lot of beautiful white flesh here. And there. Now, I did say these were past their best before date, but when you cut them open, if the flesh is pure white, they're still usable. And actually, look at that, there's another new one in there. Starting up. This is definitely not a mushroom I consider a choice edible. I can tolerate the best of the best and the worst of the worst when it comes to different tastes of wild plants and wild mushrooms. And there isn't anything too terribly positive I can say about this in terms of its taste. I have tried everything. I have tried marinating, marinating and sauteing, marinating and roasting. There's just not much I can do to get these guys to taste good. And if anybody out there watching this has any ideas, please put them below. I'm always, always, always open to new suggestions. Now, the one good thing about finding Dryad Saddle is that regardless of perhaps not wanting to eat them as they are, like this, well, of course, they have to be cooked first. Every mushroom does. That's very important. Every wild mushroom. But what I like to do is I will gather Dryad Saddle. Oh, gosh, look at that. Ooh. Now, you want to talk invasive, let's talk Himalayan balsam. Anyways, <laughs> back to the topic of, that matters. The Himalayan balsam, or the <laughs> Dryad Saddle. What I like to do is I gather these, I dry them, then I grind it down into a powder, and I add that powder to various dishes, smoothies, mashed potatoes, anything. Just little bits here and there. And the reason why I like doing that, not just with these uh, mushrooms, but I like doing it with a lot of other different mushrooms as well. Reason being is that is a great way to get it into you and you get all the benefits, such as the antioxidants, the B vitamins, vitamin D. And once it's dried and ground down, and you're mixing it in with something. Doesn't matter, you can't taste anything at that point. But one thing's for sure, you're getting the nutrients. So, there we go, Dryad Saddle. Thank you for watching. And for more information, please click on the link below.